and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you each out to the shed of many names where we're going to get busy doing some dehydrating. Now, for those who have been with the channel for quite a while, know that I absolutely love to find clearance. And I had to run to the store for family today. And almost everything was on clearance. I got clearance mushrooms, clearance diced celery, clearance broccoli slaw. I got jalapenos on clearance, bell peppers on clearance, green onions on clearance, mushrooms, uh, butternut squash. And I think there's, oh, also I got, but I'll be using it for something else. I got uh, young English pea pods on clearance and Brussels sprouts on clearance, stuffed mushrooms on clearance. Yeah, I had fun today. And also stew meat, good beef stew meat, which... I'll be cooking that tomorrow. Now, with that being said, a lot of, there were some other things that I passed up because, well, can't dehydrate salad, so can't dehydrate lettuce. I'm not going to try, but there was quite a bit. It was kind of shocking so much was on clearance. Oh, jalapenos. Yeah, jalapenos. So, with that being said, let's get these trays prepared. Now, I went on ahead and cheated. I had started hand chopping the bell peppers up. I said, forget it. I got the uh, food chopper out. There's different size pieces. That's fine. They're still going to dehydrate. Ah, the beautiful jalapenos. All right, I got, let's start with the jalapenos. I left one. This is how they came. Those were big, beautiful jalapenos. Now, I ended up with three trays of jalapenos. Two dollars and two cents a piece. Now, what you're going to do, if you have a round dehydrator like I do, you, uh, I use a canning jar lid to block the hole so uh, what I'm going to dehydrate doesn't fall through. Now you just have to remember when you fill your tray up, you have to remove the lid so the air can flow. And I am using silicone mats in my dehydrator tray. Yes, this is the second round of dehydrating in these trays. So, I figured I'd bring y'all along. I got busy on the first round. And, well, y'all coming around for the second round. Now, these are all different sizes. Not going to hurt a thing. They're going to still dehydrate. And remember, they're going to shrink. I got little pieces, I got big pieces. You know what? They're all going to dehydrate. Now, I know some people are going, oh my gracious, what are you going to do with the, those jalapenos? A lot of things. A lot of things. I'm going to, this batch... I'm going to leave them like they are, jar it up, and I can add this to a little bit to my cornbread. When I feel like having a little spicy cornbread, I make a homemade instant grits uh, mixture where I use instant grits, cheese powder, and jalapenos. And all you have to do is um, boil you some water. Water's easy to boil, y'all. 
when it hits the fan, you can always boil water. As long as you have a pot or a can or something, you can boil water in it. But dehydrated jalapenos have many, many uses. If you wanted to, when you dehydrate, after they're de completely dehydrated, make sure they're completely dehydrated. You can powder them up and make jalapeno powder. And I know some people are having a heart attack. Well, guess what? It's fine. I pack my trades because you know what? It all dehydrates, it gets done, and I don't have to just keep doing multiple, multiple loads. I've let my dehydrators cool off, I let my trays cool off, and here we go, round two. I absolutely, I know some people Oh my God, it's clearance. Yep, nothing wrong with it. Keep that food from going to the dumpster, y'all. As long as it looks good, get it. It's nothing wrong with it. Okay, there's the first tray. I'm going to take the lid out. And I'm going to put it, go and put it in my other tray. Believe me, we love dehydrated jalapenos. They come in handy for many things. If you wanted to, you can also add a little bit to tuna fish. Spice up the tuna fish a bit. And since I'm pretty much running the same stuff through the dehydrator, no. Now, if I was waiting a little like two three days before doing another load yes wash your trays your silicone mats this time no because i'm doing it back to back because i'm telling y'all you're going to want to dehydrate as much as you possibly can can it dehydrate it if you're blessed to have a freeze dryer which one day I'm going to have. One day I will have it. Freeze dry it. Make jelly with it. Make jam with it. There's so many things. I, I'm going to bring you back as soon as I get these in the tray. Now for those of you who don't have a food chopper. You got one right there. And you can hear it. It's still good and fresh. There's nothing wrong with those jalapenos. Not whatsoever. And just chop them up. And put them on your tray. Uh-oh, I didn't want to do my cutting mat. That's okay. I always say waste not, want not. Now, this round for my... Hold on a minute. Okay, that lighting looks a whole lot better now. This round for this hydrator, dehydrator is going to be the really loud food on it, the jalapenos, the bell peppers, and the green onions. So that way I can do the second dehydrator 
with the milder stuff like the mushrooms, the uh, broccoli slaw, the butternut squash, the mush, you know, I already said mushrooms. And I know there's something else. I got it all over here waiting to be used. Okay, on the, nope, wrong thing. Tray number three. I'm gonna do the bell peppers. And on the bottom, they're diced a little bigger. On the top, they got diced a little bit, uh, smaller but you know what it's still going to be able to be used now i know you're asking dehydrated bell peppers what are you going to use them for well add them to soup you can add them to tuna fish so many things y'all uh fish cakes which i need to show y'all how to make fish cakes um so many things soup sauces as long as you let it you know soak up the moisture it'll be fine so let's get and if you notice no i didn't wipe off my spatula because you know what our opinions ain't that hot well not to us other people might be a different story I'm going to spread them out. I'm going to tell you how it smells wonderful in here. It's going to be smelling even more wonderful in here once the dehydrator gets going. And make sure you get that all the way out to the edge of those trays. Don't waste any space. Looks like I'm gonna get a couple of a couple of trays. I'm gonna finish putting in the bell peppers, and I'll bring y'all right back. And yes, I did wash everything before I uh, chopped it up. I'm just gonna have to compete with the trains, y'all. They are rolling trains out like crazy. All right, I got worked on my second tray. It's not a full tray, but you know what? It's more than what I started out with. And, let's see. If you don't have a food processor, like I said, just... Just chop them up. It'll take you a while, but you know what? It's worth every second. Because believe me, buying them on clearance is a whole lot better than buying them for what they want the price of. Now, if you do use a food processor to, de to chop up your bell peppers to dehydrate, chop up your green bell peppers by themselves. Because they are a whole lot firmer than your ripe yellow or your red bell peppers. You can chop the yellow and the red bell peppers together, but do the green bell peppers by themselves. It'll make a whole lot of difference. Okay, now, the bell peppers were two fifty nine. They were, does it say? No, it usually tells you on there. How much they were. It don't matter. I got them on clearance. Get while the getting is good, everyone. And if you see clearance, don't thumb your nose up on it. This is going to sustain us. It can be put in to many different things. Okay. 
and let me tell you it's amazing how some of these vegetables will stain silicone silicone mats once these are done i'm going to have to bleach my mats okay on to the uh green onions now they look wet and everything that's because i washed them y'all but look a book 45 i wasn't about to pass that up i just wish it said how much they were no it usually does now i washed them washed the container put them right back in Yes, I know some of them are big. Guess what? They're still going to dehydrate. Green onions dehydrated can be put into many things. And the cornbread um, can be put into scrambled eggs. Mix in with your eggs and scramble them together. Uh, soup. All kinds of things. And if you don't want to leave them like they are, Powder them up once they're uh, dehydrated. Powder them up. And now notice that after I wash them, I'm going to have to go straight to dehydrating them. Because they like to wilt, apparently. There's another one. Look for those who don't look good. There's one. There's one. I don't know how I miss those, but you miss them. Now, I'm going to tell you right now. They're going to dehydrate down a whole lot, y'all. They're going to dehydrate down a whole lot, so don't get surprised. Now, another thing you could be dehydrating uh, on this stack, trays of onions, garlic, anything that has a strong scent. I don't care if they permeate one another, because guess what? We're still going to eat them. Still going to use them. It ain't going to stop us. I know I'm going to have to get some more trays out for my next batch. And then it said make sure you have your lid down the center. And I'm going to put these babies right in there. I needed to dry them a whole lot better, but oh well. It's okay, it's going to dehydrate anyway. Now, of course, if you have the square trays, you don't have to worry about putting the canning jar lid. Like I said, buck 45. That's the rate vegetables are going until everything kicks in from the garden. Yeah, I'm going to dehydrate what I can. looks a little too rough now if you wanted to you could buy bunches of green onions chop them up now the green onions I will say it's best to chop them by hand don't try to chop them in a food processor because it's gonna they're gonna turn into mush not hard to chop them by hand all right there's the first and of course I'll wipe my lid down for the next batch of trays two four six trays it's gonna be going on the dehydrator here in a bit I'm gonna put these off to the side pull get the rest of my trays down after they since they've cooled and I'm gonna start loading up some more I'll bring y'all right back for that here in just a bit. Okay, on to the next round of trays. 
the bottom tray, I'm going to start with butternut squash, cubed butternut squash, 223. Yes, you can dehydrate raw butternut squash. You just want to chop it down a little bit. Eh, is that was supposed to come out? Oh well. I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces because it is thicker, but this you can add into oatmeal after it's, you know, after it's dehydrated, you can make uh, like my instant oatmeal mixes or you can powder it up and have it to add to smoothies, cereal, well, oatmeal, and many other things. You can also add it to soup as well as chunks. Now I'm going to cut these up. Let me show you how I'm going to do them. I'm just going to cut them up into smaller pieces. And this will be the bottom tray on my dehydrator because they are thicker. And it's going to take them longer to dehydrate than the other items going into the dehydrator. Just cut them up and I will bring you back as soon as I get all these done and put on the tray okay I have that done now another thing this is raw butternut squash if you were blessed to get to grow some last year and you have some in storage that's not looking quite as good as it should have or should be uh, Peel them, you know, clean them out, dice them up. You can either can them or you can puree them also if you've got the, like the fruit roll, <coughs> excuse me, if you got the fruit roll mats, you can dry the puree or you can just cube it up small and dehydrate them because believe me, they're just as good dehydrated as fresh, y'all. Now, on to the next tray. Now, if I was doing a whole lot of celery, yes, I would blanch celery before I dehydrated it. This is the last container I had to dehydrate. So, no, I'm not blanching this one little container. It can come out looking like whatever it wants to. But look, a book 55. All ready. And yes, I did wash it, so don't worry one bit. And I'm just going to put them on there. But I haven't had ugly celery before. Any celery I've dehydrated turns out pretty. Just spread it around here and there. See how fast that was? Okay, next tray. Now, I'm telling you, this next item I got on clearance for 207 this is broccoli slaw I'm not going to tell you how much I truly love this dehydrated you can throw it in soups you can throw it in stir fries you can do so much with it and it dehydrates beautifully 207 and this is organic so, yes, I'm happy to have it. I done checked it over. It's fine. Let me tell you, this is a wonderful mix for uh, soups. Because not only do you have the broccoli in it, you got the carrots, you've got cabbage. What else they got in there? 
Broccoli stalk. No, nope, no cabbage. I'm used to some of them having cabbage. It's just broccoli stalks, organic and organic carrots. Now, I will tell you, do not worry. This is going to shrink like crazy. It's going to shrink a whole lot. But you know what? It will reconcentrate reconstitute right back up and be perfectly fine. And once this is dehydrated, I'm just going to add it to my jar I have of it already. I try to keep this in stock. Because it has many, many uses. And I'm going to tell you, it being dehydrated, it's absolutely delicious. Okay, looks like I'm going to have another. Alright. This is another reason why I do a separate dehydrator for these because some of them's a little thicker pieces than the other and they're not as loud in smell if you want to call it that. I love the smell of it. And this is for my family, so you know what? I'm not worried if there's a little piece of uh, broccoli or something up here. Now, these were very interesting. It's a mixture of cremini, shiitake, and oyster mushrooms. A buck sixty-four. I'm a mushroomaholic. You better believe I was going to jump on that. And there's a little oysters. And I'm just going to cut them up just a little bit into smaller pieces. And let me tell you. Store-bought clearance mushrooms dehydrate beautifully. And I will be keeping all of this mixture in a jar by itself. Because, yep, all my other ones are either uh, Bella's, baby Bella mushrooms, or um, white budding. I haven't gotten anything fancy like this, so... Let me tell you, I love dehydrated mushrooms. Just know when you cook with them, you're going to have to have some liquid in your uh, whatever you're cooking. They're great for uh, soups. They're wonderful to put in the soups. said so you want you don't want two great big pieces but you don't want them too small and if you wanted to 
after you dehydrated them, you can, uh, you can, uh, powder them up if you want to. But to me, mushrooms are an addiction, y'all. I'm telling you. Mushrooms are an addiction. Little bitty baby oyster mushrooms. Okay, let's get these bad boys chopped up. No, folks, they do not have to be chopped perfectly. So don't go all OCD with it. Just get them, oops, a nice size chop. And see, these can be saved for uh, meat, to put in the meat gravies, uh, soups. Make you some mushroom soup. As you know, mushrooms are protein too, y'all. And I am in no way, shape, or form. How do I want to put it? Uh, advertising for meat. I mean, pro plant protein only. No, no, no. No, I'm very much a carnivore and I plan on keeping it that way. But in a worst case scenario something hits the fan this is protein right here. Protein. And this is a whole lot better than eating bugs let me tell you. All right, that gives me two, four, five trays on that one. Six trays on that one. I'm going to get these dehydrators set up, and I'll bring y'all back. I right, got both my dehydrators ready to roll. I'm not about to cut them on until I'm ready to head out the door because it's fixing to get loud, and it's going to get warm in here. Now, I will tell you to... Tomorrow, which is going to be the end part of this video, how long it took each of the dehydrators to dry. Both of them are Air Force dehydrators, which I absolutely love. And this one, thanks to Lawrence, I have a temperature controlled dehydrator. These are Presto Dehydros. Excellent, excellent dehydrators. Now, if you are looking for a dehydrator, just check out my Amazon shopping list. Uh, this one that I bought should be listed on there. That way you know which one I have. So, and I'm not affiliated, so yeah. But it'll give you an idea of the one that I have. Alright, I will bring you back once these two babies are done. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night. Okay, I'm back. Everything is dehydrated. It has acclimated, which means cooled down. Because you do not want to try to jar up hot uh, plant material that comes out of dehydrators. You need to let them cool, and that way you can make sure that they are completely dehydrated. So I have 
a variety of jars here and we're going to get busy unloading the dehydrators i have a big bowl here that way i can pour into into the the trays into the uh bowl And you can see how much it dehydrated down. Totally forgot I had a funnel. Well, we're going to make it work. And these are the Cremini's, the Oysters, and there was one other. I think it was Portobello. And that was two full packages of mushrooms. Look how beautiful they are. They dehydrated so nicely. And you can recycle uh, spaghetti sauce jars, gravy jars, as long as they have a good tight fitting lid. Now, let's see. As usual, I'm always searching. Because I put it over here. Give me just a minute. Okay. Found my shark. This thing loves to hide from me. And I know I have three or four more in here somewhere. Okay, this was three. Mushroom blend. And I dehydrated it January of 23. And I'm going to scoot the jar right back there. Now, remember how much of the broccoli slaw I had? It was two trays, right? See what I said about dehydrating down to... Pretty much nothing. Now, it will reconstitute back very nicely. But it is definitely dehydrated. And if you remember, my tray here was completely full. See how much it has dehydrated down? Stained that mat. Oh, but it smells so good. Okay. Come back here. Okay, and that was the whole bag of the broccoli slaw mix. And now, it's into an 
eight ounce jelly jar y'all y'all saw how big the bag was but now when you go to reconstitute it it will get it will swell and get bigger so and I know I have a whole jar of it I just have to find it roughly small January of 23. On to the next tray. Which is funny. That was celery. Keyword was. It's still celery. But it has definitely shrank down. And of course now that I'm done dehydrating, my trays and my mats will be going into a very hot, soapy water to get completely clean. And I actually need a four ounce jelly jar for this one, but I'm going to be at a later date dehydrating more celery. But as you can see, Even though I didn't blanch it, it's still a beautiful green. It didn't lose much of any of its color. Celery. 123. But if you think about it, some celery... Better than no celery. Alright, I'm going to put this. This is the tray of butternut squash. I'm going to move the tray up there. And I'm going to move, put my dehydrator away. And I'll bring y'all right back. Okay, got that done. Remember how big the piece is? A butternut squash was look how beautiful and still vibrant orange they are like I said I just warn you they shrink and them sounding like like rocks is a good thing that's what you want to hear you want them to be dry have that big tray of container of butternut squash is in a jelly jar so you can see it takes quite a bit of of uh, plant material to get a good amount of stock put back Wash, and you always put the month one twenty-three. Later on, I will vacuum seal these. 
Now on to the other dehydrator. Get another jelly jar out. Now, as you remember, the two top trays were green onions. And you can see how much they shrank down. And they still smell great. And the dehydrator here with all the huge uh, jalapeno bell pepper and these green onions took about, it was a good about 16 hours y'all. But I had these trays loaded and they were pretty moist from being uh, washed. Yep, these poor trays have had a workout last few days. And it is time for them to be scrubbed. Alright, now, can't be doing that. Stay. I think I'm going to have to use a pint jar for this. Alright, now. Oh, that smells so good. If done right, your vegetables will keep their wonderful smell. the dehydrated cut up green onions one twenty-three we're getting close y'all getting close to being done and I am so thankful to have it all and here is the bell peppers. I come and pull them up. And you see how they will stain your tray. Especially if it's the colored peppers. Sometimes they have to be slightly forced off the trays. But... They'll finally get all of them. And this is those uh, tri-colored bell peppers. It was yellow, red, and green. Who they have made those trays filthy. See how much they dehydrated down. And sometimes you have to break them up. Nothing wrong with that. They'll come right apart. You just want to make sure that they're good and dry. Man. These trays are now filthy. Now 
Um, this can happen when you chop your uh, bell peppers, especially a little too fine. But you know what? They're still going to work. They'll be fine. There we go. Such a beautiful color. I love how they darken as they dry. Of course, I can look at that and tell that it's, it's bell peppers. I've dehydrated so many before, but we're still going right. Bell peppers. One, forty-three. Look at that beautiful, beautiful jar of dehydrated bell peppers. So I stole the pan and lid from that jar. We're just going to use this jar. Cause I know I'm going to be dehydrating a whole lot more bell peppers here soon. Hopefully. Oh, they smell so good, y'all. I wish you could smell them. always reuse these lids for canning you just need to wash them because I haven't vacuum sealed them or anything so they are still fine I usually use um, used lids for this bell peppers and since I dehydrated them in January, you put the 1 and 23. Now on to the beautiful trays of jalapenos. Look at how much they shrank. They are just beautiful and not, that one's not dry. I checked them. Well... That's okay. That means these two trays are going to run again. So, jalapenos are not ready. Everybody else was. Go figure. But that's just something you have to look for. And that's why you check and you feel around. I had checked them, but I did not see that one that's uh, still moist. There's some over there. So, I'm going to put the lid back on it. And I'm going to cut the dehydrator on, let it roll overnight, and I'll be back out here to check them in the morning. But, with that being said, you know how to dehydrate them. So, I'm going to not worry about that. I know it's probably going to fill up a quart jar easily, which I'm happy to have dehydrated jalapenos. You can do so much with dehydrated jalapenos. You could 
uh, reconstitute them, add them to deviled eggs, salsa, uh, if you like a little bit of spice in your gravy, add it to your cornbread, add it to your uh, grits, so many, make salsa with it, you name it, or you can make sure that it's extremely dry and powder it up as well. Mix it in with your salt. Limitless of what you can do. I hope this video has encouraged you to do your own dehydrating. And see, proof's in the pudding. Even us old people who've been uh, doing it for a while. We have to do things a little longer than usual. That's going to get dehydrated till in the morning, and I know by morning it'll definitely be dry. We did have a lot of rain last night, so that does not help when dehydrating. Just make sure that everything that you dehydrate is completely dry. You notice how I put the brakes on that, and I'm going to put it back. I'm going to put the lid on, let it dehydrate some more. Y'all take care. Stay safe and sound out there. This world's going crazy, I tell you. And so is our government. Y'all stay safe and sound. Continue to stock those pantries with beautiful dehydrated vegetables, herbs, spices, you name it. Because, yeah, the writing's on the wall, y'all. Keep those pantries stocked. Stock your medicine cabinets and keep them out of sight. Stock your protection because we're going to need it. I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video and may you each be blessed. I'll see you soon. Take care.